Loruka Jesu. Amen. Loruka Jesu. Amen. Iye ane pe kun. Ani oloko loko. Fanya waye le. Neno ala ini ya. Kole si ala to be wa. Pa e kwa adam le fun wa. E wa e ye ene pe kun. Kole si ala le fun wa. A wa o kune no adam o kadala ye. O la gwa kwa e wa. Amin. A do pe. Fwa wa ta te mwen wo ba e ye ta te ba o. Ti a te da la ye. O la gwa e ye wa. Amin. Lo ni. Neno a ye wa. O lo a kwa si. Amin. Nena e kwa o ni. A wan te o ba te ni o. O la je ki wan li o. Amin. A gwa a du la. Lo lo kwa jesu kristi. O lo a wa. Amin. We want to continue with our exposition on Genesis chapter 3, verse 19. The juncture we got to in our teaching. To fu yiku, to gbele Adam lori, nene kwa to she, nene kwa kwa hide nene. Was the meaning which the word of God who made Adam placed on him when he said against him in the garden of Eden. Last week, to kwa ya, last week, only people they are low. The Bible reference which we used Oni rele luku was Luke. Oli le kesa chapter nine. Esi ogota odeka ati ogota verses fifty nine and sixty. Aho toka oli bibeli na vayi. We will read the Bible reference again now. Ne tori alayeti ku because we still have more explanation. To give on it. Luke, Oli Kesa. Luke chapter nine. I say, I got all the yokan. Verses fifty nine. At your got a and sixty. Oh, see, we follow miracle. Yes. Mato melani. Yes. So, but we follow. Yes. Oluwa. Yes. Jeki mi kio kolo isi kuba ba mina. Yes. Jesus si wifunpe. Oh yes. Jeki a wan o ku kio ma se kuara wan. Oh yes. Shogwan e wala. Yes. Kio si ma wa si joba o lono. I ye ene kwe kun o lono solo. It is the eternal life who is speaking. Here, in Luke chapter 9, he was going about to seek men that have got lost. And he found a young man. He then called him to himself. The good shepherd. Who came for his sheep? Called the young man to himself. The young man. What He said to him, "Come and belong to me." The king of life, and begin to spend your life for me. Come and be following me. The young man did not know who was calling him. 
he did not know that it was eternal life who was calling him he did not know that the one who would enliven him and which would make him live forever was the one calling him therefore in his ignorance he replied the king he said king have heard that you are calling me I agree to start following you but my father has died and we want to do his burial let me first go and bury my father let me first go to enter his body after I will have done that then I will answer your call and start following you the Lord the king of life replied the young man the reply of the king of life official he used it to explain the meaning of the death of Adam in Genesis the king said let the dead bury their dead but you come and be following me and preach the everlasting kingdom of God in this saying of the Lord we got the meaning that he gave to Adamic death the Lord says all those whose bodies are still on the surface of the earth this young man you a child of your father and all your siblings with your relatives patana and matana and all those with whom you will bury your father with whom you will enter his body you think you are living beings that it's only your father who is are dead therefore you who are living want to bury your father the one who has died among you. Hear me, you young man. You. And all others. That you think you are living. That you want to come together. To bury your dead father. All of you are the dead. To you, you are living. Because you can still go up and down. Because you are still becoming different things. You even said that as living, you want to bury the dead. Lord, but to me, the king of life, all of you are the dead. Baba, your father, that you think it is he only who has died. What happened to him? Was he who was a dead before when he thought he was a living 
It was not the case that he just died. It's just his body that just collapsed. Now, he is different from you in a way. His physical body that is used in the world. You want to see it again among you. He is different from you in the way that he has put off his body. Baba, your father, where he has gone to now, it is a dead who has gone there. It is a dead who has escaped from his physical body and who has gone to that place where all those who are the dead go to because of this all of you who you think are living that you want to come together to enter your father's body there is only one reason you think that you are still living it is because your bodies are yet to collapse but your spirits that are dwelling inside your bodies to me your creator your spirits are the dead this is the meaning which the king of life gives to the death which he placed on Adam in the garden of Eden last week that's why we promised that we would tarry on explaining the meaning of this Adamic death till today many people in our Nigeria here and all over the world are like this young man our understanding is that we are living because our bodies are yet to collapse many of us we say we are fortunate in life we claim to be great men we claim to have great promotions we claim to be wealthy men in the world we claim to be professors who are well read we claim to be famous all over the world we claim that no one is like us we say we are the powerful in the world we claim to be the movers and shakers of the world we claim to have best lives among men though without possessing the king of life who came to the world what does the king of life say he says all men are the dead because of this you who can hear us be who you may if you have not confessed Jesus the king of life as the lord of your life to whom you have given your life that he should please in his mercy gave his life to you his life as God which is his immortality the life that can never go down to hell when the spirit escapes from the body 
The life that cannot die the second death. The life which can never go to the lake of fire. If you are yet to plead with him that you gave your life to him that it should become that your life and you will be who you may God says you are a dead if you say it is not so when your body collapses and your spirit which the Lord calls are dead when it escapes then you will understand that in all the days of your life you have been are dead any child who is a man is that dead let us take a proper note of this this is saying of the Lord here is that you who live your entire life as a man whatever you become in life whoever you become in life but you don't possess the word of life who is Jesus you don't have the king of life who came to the world that is Jesus you don't have eternal life that is Jesus in all the days of your life you are not a living but a dead and when your body collapses you will then understand when your spirit which the Lord says it's a dead when it escapes and it does not go up to the land of the living this look chapter 9 we explained last week our today's explanation we will base it on this same look chapter 9 now when the king of life says all of us human beings who say we are living that we are all dead the rich among us and the poor among us the great among us and the lowly all those who are rulers leaders over men and we men who are ruled or the ruled or subjects to our leaders the Lord says all of us are the dead now let's check another bible verse where we shall see that truly according to the saying of the king of life in this Luke chapter 9 that before him all men are the dead through the sin of Adam which made all men mortals John chapter 3 verses 12 and 13 John chapter 3 verses 12 and 13 oh yes be more by some see I get you for me yes see and you could see back bar yes and you want to shake back bar yes be more by some see on your phone yes Hallelujah. 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 In this Bible reference, John chapter 3, if we read it, from verse 1, through this verse 12 that we are reading, 
Especially verses 1 to 6. Verses 1 to 6. Realize that a man called Nicodemus, a great man in his own estimation, in modern day usage, we can call him a great bishop. That was who Nicodemus was in his own estimation. But according to the Lord's own usage, in Luke chapter 9, Nicodemus was a dead. Nicodemus was not a living. It was to the king of life he went. The only being who says, I am the ever living one. It was to him the dead went. But the dead came to him as a great living man. Then the king of life was talking with him on how he would change from being a dead to a living. He was explaining to him that his father was a dead. His mother was a dead. And he, a general overseer, he was born as a dead. And whatever he might have become in life, no matter how great he was in a religion he was born as a dead if he would become a living he should be born the second time the one who is the living one the one who is the living one must bear him the second time. The one who is the living one, his spirit of life, his eternal life, by him, he must bear him again. He must bear him the second time. It was this that the dead did not understand because he was being told words of life he had secular knowledge he had the knowledge of the mortals though his teachers that made him a knowledgeable man they were the dead and the knowledge that he was given by which he became a great religious leader it was a knowledge of the dead. His teachers were not the living one. They had no eternal life. His rabbi, they were not the king of life. They couldn't teach him heavenly things. His teachers were not the spirit of life. So they could not give the teachings of the feet of life to him. How he was, by which he was great to himself. They were all physical. They were all human. They were all earthly. They were all, they all bothered on the dead. There was none among them that was of eternal life. He was not heavenly. He was not a man of eternal life. He was worldly, he was earthly and immortal. Then he was asking questions from the Lord that revealed his secret that he was a dead. The Lord was speaking about eternal life. The Lord was speaking heavenly things. But he was asking 
greatly questioned. A great knowledgeable man of the world. For example, he has a question. Said Rabbi, you said I have been born again. Can't you see me before you in age? Can't you see how old I am? I am a great religious leader. So what are you talking about? You said I must be born the second time. All this that I am, all who that I am, is it possible that I should be born the second time? With all that I am, will I re enter my mother's womb and for my mother to conceive of me again and come to labor and put me forth or brings me forth as a newborn baby? Rabbi, what are you talking about? Is it possible our dead was talking to the living God? Our dead revealed his secret. The king of life was speaking of eternal life so that he would live forever. But he was talking about the dead. He talked about his mother. His mother that was a dead. How he had become that were vain things. I want to go next day alive. Things that would not make him a living. I want to go next for the Things that would not give eternal life to him. I want to go next modern. Things that would not take him to heaven. I want to go next that way. Things that would not deliver him from destruction. Look at my God. He was talking about them. Mate da balaga. I have become an old man. Then the Lord replied to him in verse 12 that we read. Read it again. Yes. 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 You great religious man. You a general overseer. Bishop You an archbishop. A great founder of a big church. I am using earthly things to explain what borders on faith. Yet, you don't understand what I am saying. With all you are, by you, now, if I change my words to heavenly things, heavenly things, how then will you understand? The examples of worldly things. The examples of worldly things. I used them to speak to you about faith. Yet you don't understand. You are speaking nonsense. Now if I begin to speak about heavenly things. How then will you understand? This explanation leads to verse 13. Can you arrest the ketala? Because you see any tiogo kere or no? There is no man who has ever ascended out to heaven. If I use the examples of heavenly things. To speak to an earthly man, you, you won't understand at all. Because now, as I am, it is I alone who have come down from heaven. 
All over the land of the living, asides me. There is none who has come down from heaven. Therefore, if I speak to you using the things of the throne of God, you won't understand at all. You to whom I am using examples of heavenly things. And you don't understand what I am saying. Read verse 13 again. I, the son of man, the son of all men, Isaiah, Isaiah, in chapter 9, verse 6, says all sons of men, a child is born for us, all of us, sons of Adam, a child, a son is born for us, he is the everlasting father he is the mighty God I the son of man who am living in heaven it's I who came down to the world there is none there is no man who has gone from the world up to heaven in this verse, the Lord explains the Father what it says in Luke chapter 9, verse 60, that all men are the dead. All men are the dead. In John chapter 3, which we have read, verse 13, now the Lord explains the Father that truly all men are the dead. In what way? How does he explain that? In John says no man has ascended to heaven. Why did the man not ascend to heaven? It's because heaven is the land of the living. No dead can access the land of life. The living God is the one who built all the heavens for himself and his angels who are living beings. God did not build heaven for the dead. God says, Heaven is my throne. It's God who put his throne in heaven. Heaven is the abode, is the dwelling place of God. So anyone who becomes God's and whose life God becomes God can take up to heaven God cannot carry or take the dead up to heaven the befitting place for the dead God has prepared for them for the dead and that's why he came all those who are his he the living God he the word of life he the king of life will take them to the land of life put in another way anyone who accepts Jesus the king of life the eternal life who came to the world and to whom Jesus gives his eternal life to whom he gives his spirit of life 
and makes him a child of God. God of the living father. If he becomes his father, it is him that the Lord will take up to his land of life above. God will not take that dead up to heaven according to the saying of Jesus. In the gospel of Luke, says God is not the God of the dead, but is the God of the living. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 20, verse 37, verse 37, yes, Moses, yes, 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 Ati Olorun Isaaki Yes Ati Olorun Jacob Yes Be ni ohun ki ise Olorun awon oku Olorun ki ise Olorun awon oku God is not a god of the dead Yes Bi ko se ti awon alaye Yes Ne tori gbogbo won wa alaye fun Kayan le meji si eleyi to ka ka ene ka le meji si Be ni ohun ki ise Olorun awon oku Yes because she a one lie. Yes. Ne tori gbo gbo won wa laye fun o. E kan si. Be ni o ki se Olorun awon oku. Yes. Because she ti a one lie. Yes. Ne tori gbo gbo won wa laye fun o. Hallelujah o. Hallelujah. Ni look ta ka yi. In this look that we have just read. Oh, yes, the king of life says there. Ibe. That God calls himself the God of Abraham. He identified Abraham with himself. God called himself the God of Isaac. He identified Isaac with himself. God called himself the God of Jacob. The God of Jacob. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. Because to him they were still living. They live unto him. It's men in the world that could not see them again. It was the Jews that could not see them again. But they live unto him next week maybe we get to Luke chapter 16 in this teaching from verse 19 then we will understand this is saying of the Lord that where Abraham was where Isaac was where Jacob was God knew that place they were living beings and it was he who put them there why did we read this look God cannot take the dead up to heaven Heaven is the land of God. Heaven is the abode of God. Heaven is the land of the living. According to his saying, in John chapter 3 verse 13 he did not allow anyone to go out to heaven before he came to the world because according to his word in Luke chapter 9 all men are the dead in Adam and you couldn't take the dead out to heaven before we start to, let me remind you of the saying of the Lord about heaven heaven is the dwelling place of the father there is no room for the dead in heaven anyone who is a dead has no room in heaven it will be taken down to hell. John chapter 14. Read verse 2 quickly. Heaven is the Father's house where the living God dwells in with his angels of life. At the time when the Redeemer had not yet come to the world. 
to make himself the provision of life so that he might take his saints up to heaven John chapter 14 verse 2 yes Yes. Yes. Listeners, we know that the son who was talking was the word of God who created all things all things in heaven all things on the earth it was the word of God that dwelt in God from eternity past who God spoke to make all things therefore in John chapter 14 what it says is in heaven that I created heaven is the father's house heaven is the father's house too how the heavens that are there all the heavens that are many they are all mansions for the living to dwell in there is no room for the dead that's why he says in John chapter 3 that no one has gone up to heaven that day he was speaking. But he who came next week, we pray that the Lord will spare our lives. And ah, spare your lives too. We read the Bible the most, concerning the meaning which the king of life gives to the Adamic death, which passed upon all men. Children of life who have accepted the king of life, let's make progress. Let's not say this word and things of the world are our riches and glory. May we not perish with the world. May we not perish with the riches of the world. Let's follow the king of life so that we be children of life and not be the dead again. So that when we shall put off our bodies, the father of life who has burned us the second time who has burned us the second time with the spirit of life that he may take us out to paradise that start heaven is a board of life may the Lord ah, keep yeah. us the next week amen
ti ijo afopo Christi lati mu eko ti esese gbotan yi wa se ti gbo yin oni wa su yin ni olusu agotan je o oludare olu ijo wa wa ni popo na ilesha si ilu akure lati ma awon ebi ti e ka wa wa ni osogo ile ife ibadan akure eko ikare ajo ekiti atawon ilu miran e fi ateji se yanse si odo ejo o kan odo ejo odo meta to tele ra won eta aro ati o kan e darapo mo wa fun wakati rere ayo on la lasiko yi kan na lo se tun bo